guys, it's Erica. Um, I have another video for you today. I know it's been a while since my last one, um, but I wanted to share with you my planner. I had really, 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 really wanted one of the Webster's Pages ones, the gorgeous aqua one, that light blue, but apparently everybody else did too. And so all I got was nothing because the order between the manufacturer and um, my store that I was buying it from got lost. They got one of the boxes showed up and the other one didn't. So very sad. I couldn't find one that I wanted instead. So I decided I was going to make one. Um, so I bought this little binder. It's about, um, it fits paper that is half of a letter size sheet. And I just bought it at Staples or Office Max or something like that. I like the cute teal and uh, white swirly design. It's, it's not the, well, the brand is Studio C by Versailles by Lisa Diller. CarolinaPad.com in case you want to get one. Anyways, so this is my binder that I picked out. And then I filled it and um, I will show you how I made everything. So first up, there's just a little clear pocket here in the front. I just put random things that I need to remember to do. Um, things for the kids' school, notes I need to fill out, random stuff like that. And then this is um, a thick transparency. It's thicker than like, um, oh, what were they? It's a very thick transparency. It's, it's um, I don't even remember the name of the manufacturer, but I just cut one that is about, grab my ruler. You can tell I'm not prepared here, people. It's about four and an eighth, and it's the entire um, eight and a half length of the thing and then I just rounded the corners with my um, We Are Memory Keepers corner chomper and punched the holes with my We Are Memory Keepers um, crocodile because you know apparently I need to have all We Are Memory Keepers tools. And then I just used a regular post-it note here, a smaller size here. Um, these three flags were from the Target dollar spot. They came in a set of four. Let me show you those. And these three fit along the side. These I think I also bought at Staples or Office Max and it came in a set of two and I just cut it apart because it fit in that empty spot pretty well. The front page that I used is um, an old basic gray line that I just love so I figured I might as well use it and then I have the word light here in thickers and it is all glittered and light is my word for 2015. And then I have the year here. And then I wanted to show you this. This is a little design I made for my monthly pages. And I did two on each sheet, printed them front to back, making sure I got them in the right spot. And I did this in February. So this would be my January one and it's empty. I may go back and decorate it and make it pretty. I may just leave it like it is. But I put, I adhered the, um, well, not very well. I adhered the pretty paper to the back of January. So, and then here is February. And I just used strips of paper and some pretty aqua letters. And then these are, um, what is it called? Project Life. Wow, Erica. Project Life uh, Day of the Week stickers. And then a little blurb down there. So now we come to this month. This month I used Heidi Swap, the um, September Skies line, which I love. And I did the rainbow because it's uh, it's March, St. Patrick's Day, baby. So we did a lot. I did a lot of rainbow and gold. And then again, the days of the week are in rainbow. And then I made my uh, little bookmark in um, another transparency. And this is... This is that transparency I couldn't remember the name of. What is the name of the company? Hold on. Hambly. Thank you. Hambly. It is Hambly. So this is a, a, a slightly thinner transparency than, than this. Anyway, so here is how I do it. I have my two sheets. I uh, write down the, the dates at the beginning of the month. Let's go to um, April and I'll show you that. And then, and here's May as well because... April showers, bring May flowers. So what I do basically is I just go through, fill out the numbers. I just use a pen that matches or coordinates with the thing, with the uh, paper that I use on the top. I put a tiny little bit of embellishment down near the bottom. 
So down here I die cut a gold doily and made a little heart. Here it's just some little feathers and the ampersand that looks like the letter E because my name's Erica. And then down here just a little cluster of embellishments that goes with as well. And then I simply go through and these are far away events that I know are coming up. The kids' field trips, um, Audrey's birthday party, things I'm helping out with at the school. And I fill all that out. And then during the week, I go through and add things in. So Mickey's baseball practice I've added in. I'm not going to add it in for the rest of the month because, or the other months, because it's probably going to change. Um, I use a little paper clip along the side to point toward the week that we're in. So it doesn't, it doesn't go for the day, but it goes for the entire week. So this is the week we're at. Yesterday we had conferences. Um, I try to cross off the days as they go by, but you know, sometimes I get behind. Here we are on the 18th. And then I use, I have washi tape to use and I'll show you that in a minute, but I used it here because we have spring break next week. I am so excited guys. I mean, seriously, 12 days of spring break. They have no school tomorrow or the next day. And then the Monday after spring breaks over, they have no school either. So it's heavenly. I'm so excited. I have this empty space up here for to-do lists. So there's March, here's April and May. And I haven't done June, July, or August. I'll probably go through and do those. It's kind of nice to, to do it a couple months ahead of time and just kind of go slowly and, and get that all in there. So anyways, I have a whole bunch of these. If you want this, this crazy little collection of boxes that I made just for my calendar, uh, email me at melegs at hotmail.com and put planner calendar in the subject and I'll email you the sheet. It, it's really wasn't that hard to make. I just made it in Photoshop. So, but if you guys want it, I'll totally, I'll totally shoot it your way. So let's keep going to the back of the calendar. Oh, here's that paper again for the back page. And then I bought these online, the lined papers. I found them on Amazon. It's just the, um, there's a size for this. I want to say it's like A5 or something. And I just listed out some meal ideas. Um, I take notes during like PTO meetings. And then here's another little divider slip so I know that this is the first blank page for that. I also included some graph paper and I got the graph paper at the same office supply store where I purchased my binder. I bought a few things. I tried not to go overboard because the whole point of making my own was that it would be cheaper than buying another one of the Webster's Pages ones because I was okay with buying it when I loved it and desperately wanted it, but for a color that I just kind of liked, I didn't want to spend that money. So if I'd been able to have the teal one, I wouldn't have made this one. So anyways, and then this is just another sheet of this thicker transparency, but instead of being smaller, it's the exact same size. And the reason I did that is it gives it a little bit of a um, surface to write on because right behind that is my little pouch. And I'm gonna take this out and show you it separately because behind that I have little page protectors and they make these, um, you can get them pretty much anywhere, just little half sheet page protectors. And I was trying to use them for dry erase markers um, for the, to make obviously this looks like a menu plan thing. And I just created the sheet and then stuck it in a page protector to write on. But the markers I got seemed to, to not erase, dry, wet, or otherwise. And I'll show you those markers so you don't make the same mistake I did. They are hiding. Oh. It's the Expo Dry Erase uh, Low Odor Ultra Fine Marker, and it has a really tiny, tiny, tiny pen tip. So it, it writes pretty well, or it used to write pretty well, apparently it's dried out, but it doesn't erase very well. So I think I'm going to switch to these bigger ones, even though it's a little bit harder to write on. I don't know. i got to figure something else out for that. I may just go to regular sheets and then and go from there. And then in the back, I tucked in a little um, notepad and I just covered the the top with some paper from Chamel's line because I love Chamel. Oh, and I found this in the little clearance section at Staples when I was buying my binder. I must have bought my binder at Staples. They were just a dollar. It's just a little pin holder. So I have a pin that is 
easily accessible. I don't have to dig out my pouch. So let's go back to this pouch and I'll show you all about it. It is one of the pouches, I think from Freckled Fawn. Um, they sell them for like three or $4. And I love this one. It's, it's aqua, it's pink, it's got some cute yellow and it's leaves. I adore leaves. So I wanted something to, to, to do with this that was gonna get a lot of use and I couldn't ever think of anything so I just had it stashed away. So now I'm glad I thought of using it in my binder. And just for those who care, it is a little bit bigger and it sticks out when I close. But again, it, it's pretty so I don't care that it sticks out. So here is, the here are all the goodies I keep in my binder or my, my pouch. Whoa! Making a big mess. And to create the holes, oh, this side, I just punched three holes using my crocodile. And if I had been thinking, which I wasn't when I made this, because I was just kind of going quickly and I only have one of these, I would have punched the holes along here and sewn it along here. That way I could make it small enough that it wouldn't stick out when you closed it. But again, I did it this way and eh, I'm okay with it. Next time, next time I'll do it the right way. So. Or if you're watching this, you can do it the right way. So there's my pouch. And then these are the items I keep in there. Um, thin washi tape. I have gold stars, cute little pink stuff, and the blue stuff. The blue is for my, um, I'm going to save to mark off shoots when I have for Candidly Erica. The pink is for Audrey. And then the gold is for fun stuff, vacations, stuff like that. I need something for Mickey's, but I haven't figured one out yet for him. Then we have... Those really annoying Expo dry erase markers in the ultra fine point that I think I need to ditch out of my binder because they don't work. So, bye bye. Next, I have a couple pencils because some things I put in my binder I know are probably going to change or they might change in my planner. And I had these just in there, but then I found these cute ones at the Target dollar spot. I love that thing. If you watch, any more planner videos on YouTube, everybody goes to Target Dollar Spot and they get the cutest, cutest stuff. And and it's addicting, guys, I'm just warning you. So like, these cute little things I found, little page flags, I'm like, oh, those are pretty cute. You know, oh, I'll get them a dollar. And I open it up, it's adorable. It's watercolor, I love these things. I wish I'd put them in my planner instead of the ones that I have, because these are so pretty. So I may tuck those back in my, my little pouch. So I have pencils. Then I have a bunch of colored pens and these are ones I bought when I bought my binder. And I knew I wanted to have a rainbow of colors, mainly because I tend to color coordinate things so I know who has something going on, things that I need to know. I need to know all of them, but things that are just for me obviously are aqua because that's my favorite color. Audrey is pink and because, you know, pink's her color. Mickey is orange because he is a Go Beavers fan. And then um, just regular stuff, or if I can't find whichever pen it is, I put in black. And then I think I put Andrew's in green. Let me check that out. I can't even remember. I always have to check because I never have much of his stuff on there. No, I have school stuff, like no school, in green. And I don't even think I have a color yet for Andrew. Sorry, hon. I love you if you're watching this, but you're probably... You're probably dark green, and then we have a random purple one. Maybe we'll leave purple for the animals, green for Andrew. So there's that. And then I have all these little pans, which again, I got at Target Dollar Spot. Ooh, maybe Andrew can be dark blue. So those are there just because they're cute, and they were a dollar, and I couldn't resist them. And I'm warning you, if you go to Target Dollar Spot, you're, you're going you're gonna to go away spending more than a dollar. And then finally, I included a bunch of my paper, my paper clips. I love the little shape paper clips. They're just super cute, super fun, but sometimes I have a hard time using them on my scrapbooks, either because they don't hang over the right way or they're pointing the wrong way or they're too long. So I just keep a stash of them in my little pouch. I really like them, they're really fun. Um, these I think are freckled fawn and so is the long one. This pink one and these pink ones, I honestly think I got at Dollar Tree. 
they came in like a pack of eight. There's not a great selection. There's some weird triangle ones, but yeah, hit Dollar Tree if you want some. Otherwise, get the really super adorable yummy ones from Freckled Fawn. So that's it. That is my planner. If you have any questions, um, write them down below. Um, hit me a like if you like this video, let me know. If you have any comments, I would love to hear it. If I say um too much, I'm really sorry. It's my second video. I love you guys and I will try to come back pretty soon with the uh, sequin storage video that I promised earlier. So peace out. Thanks guys. See you later. Bye.